Today's topic is boundary colon because you guys wanted to break down each punctuation, so I'll do that for you guys. As always, the questions are from the SATCrashCourse.com. You guys got the QR code, you guys got the website description. Use the code studyj, all caps, 20% off. Great deal. Okay, so let's get right to it, guys. Let's see. This is a very short question, and they kind of wanted me to uh, make it longer, but for the sake of this lesson, I kept it short so I could just give you guys the point, okay? So let's look here. When the majority of workers are tired, the effects are readily apparent. Loss of sleep not only lowers productivity, but also leads to injuries. So one way you can do a boundary question is just read it. You can't actually read it out loud, guys, because you can't be disturbing other people, right? But try to see how it sounds when you just plug in the words, ignore the punctuation, okay? So when the majority of workers are tired, the effects are readily apparent. Loss of sleep. So that's a sentence. That's the break, okay? So we see here that this is a run-on. Boo, run-ons are bad. Okay, why? Because I have a sentence, comma, another sentence. That is not allowed. Never. Not allowed. Okay? And this one's even worse. Okay? The problem was there's just a comma. How do you fix that but with another comma? No. How do you fix a run on with a comma? You have to use fanboys, right? What does fanboys stand for? For and nor, but, or yet. So, you guys already knew that. Okay. So then, by elimination, this one is going to be D is the wrong answer. My bad. I tricked you guys. Okay. D is almost good. Okay, so I'll talk about the difference between a colon and a dash in a bit, but what is the difference between B and D? Not a trick grammar question, it's just a visual thing. There's a comma here, there's no comma in B. Okay, so they do that a lot, okay? So I know I said I'll go over commas, but I'll also do this, okay? They do this a lot. Subject, comma, verb, as a wrong choice. That's bad, that's a trap, okay? There should not be subject, comma, verb. That comma does not belong there, no way. No way, that does not belong there. So that's out. Because you could technically use a dash there. You could, okay. But let's talk about the colon first because a lot of people don't really know how to use colons. Because uh, what did you guys learn colons are? Right, you guys probably learned in school, oh, you use it to start a list. No, you do not use it to start a list, okay. I mean, you can, but that's not the actual definition. That's like, oh yeah, uh, what's a pizza? You're gonna go, it's a round object. Well, well, yeah, but that doesn't define what it is, okay. So colon is, we have a finished, Sentence. Okay. And then you have a colon. After the finished sentence is... Okay, I need a bigger eraser. Can I make my eraser bigger? Yes. Good job. I am figuring things out, guys. I'm improving by today. Okay. So, after the finished sentence, to the right, what do you need? Stuff that adds to or explains... That sentence, okay? So let me you guys uh, let me give you guys an example. I like pie. Colon. Key lime pie is my favorite. Okay? So I had the idea that I like pie. And the fact that key lime pie is my favorite adds to that information so I can put a colon there. Okay. Uh, another usage of the colon, though, that people usually get wrong is that you do not need a sentence after the colon, though. This stuff here. I put a sentence in this case, but you do not need to put a sentence. I could just say echoes. Okay, so I could say, um, I ate a lot yesterday. Colon, and that's when you can use it to start a list. I ate a lot yesterday. I ate donuts, comma, whatever, comma, whatever, and so on. Okay, so you can use a colon to start a list, but you must have a sentence before it. This is the wrong way to use a colon. I'm just going to show you right now. Do not do it like this. A lot of people do this. I ate and put a colon. You can't do that. You cannot do that, okay? Because so that, that's not a sentence. You can't just go, I ate, right? So you say, I ate a lot of stuff, and then you finish. Okay, so for this one, let's actually get to the question. When the majority of the workers retire, the effects are readily apparent. So the second sentence here is telling us how are the effects apparent? How can we see the effects? The effects are really easy to notice. The effects are easy to notice because it leads to injuries. So you can see what's happening there. So the stuff to the right of the colon explains what was on the left, okay? So that is um, precisely how we use a colon. I know we have been having uh, boundary questions, but uh, you guys wanted me to cover like, you know, each punctuation in detail. So here it is, this is the colon in detail. The stuff to the left must be a finished sentence, must be. The stuff to the right, doesn't matter if it's a sentence or not, but it has to add or explain to the stuff on the left. So our answer here is 
be. And that's it for today, guys. Let me know in the comments, as always, what you guys want to learn, and I'll get right to it. Thanks for watching. Study every day with XJ. It's the best way. You already know. Bye-bye.